Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central and today I'm taking a look at Kick Messenger. We've actually had a preview release of this for about the last week and been playing around with it and I am very impressed. Now, to compare this with IM Plus, which also came out about a week ago, you know, it's not the same of course. IM Plus is AOL, it has uh, all the other chat clients available where Kick is its own proprietary system. And that begs the question, why would you want to use it? Well, for one, it's on Android and iPhone as well. It's very popular on those platforms, so there's plenty of users out there. It's also completely free, which is about $10 cheaper than IM+. Plus. It's also very efficient and fast and reliable, and it just can do some more cool things than I think IM+ Plus does. Including, like I said, it's just faster to load and use. And I think as a mobile operating IM system, it's probably one of the best ones out there. A lot of people ask for a BlackBerry-like system, uh, BlackBerry Messenger, and Kick is pretty much like that. In fact, the uh, one of the creators for Kick actually came from uh, RIM, and so and it was on BlackBerry system until it was removed recently due to some uh, ongoing legal concerns. But here it is on Windows Phone 7, and I'm just going to show you how fast it can be. So you can see here on the device on your uh, left, I'm going to send the message, and you'll see the toast notification come up as well as the uh, little live tile. Let's see how fast it goes here. And there it is. This is, has to be one of the fastest messaging clients I've ever used on a Windows Phone device. I mean, it's as fast as not faster than text messaging. And that's real, it's reliable. I've never had a message not come in. And so I'm really impressed. I don't know how they, their servers are set up, but it just works so well. When you open the message here, you can see I've been I'm testing. I've been kind of going back and forth. And so we'll send another message back. And there it is. You can see how quickly this is going, and it's almost an instant system. And for that, that's one of the reasons I'm recommending it. It's just extremely reliable and quick. The other cool thing, and we're going to zoom in here for a second. Let me back out of this. I'm just going to type a nonsense message. I want to zoom in here on the window because I want you to see this. This is what really makes this kind of a neat thing. You see that little S there by testing? That means the message was sent, and then they say it turned to a D. That means it's delivered. That means you know the other device has received a notification for it. And you saw how quickly that changed as well. So that means that person received a message. Now when I'm gonna go onto the other device, I'm gonna read it and watch how it changes. And they even say, and now went to R for red. And see, it says Daniel's typing. It means I'm in the chat window, and right now I'm actually writing something. I'm actually technically, and then it just disappeared. See, now it knows I'm typing again. And you can see how quickly this actually works. It's a very, very fast system. And that whole sent, delivered, read thing is very much like BlackBerry Messenger. And in that sense, it's really cool how that works. Some other options we can do here. Let me zoom out at the bottom here. So you can see what the options are. So you have uh, the combo info it tells you about who you're talking with. You can take a photo. Once again, you can access that by using the camera or using an existing picture on the device. You can add a smiley. The emoticons are very cool. And so you see how that kind of goes through. And see how quickly that goes, delivered red, everything, really nice. And then, of course, you have send. You can also use the enter key as send if that's your preference. It's an option. I'll show you those in a moment. Let's add a photo, though. Here's a picture of a puppy dog. Adds the photo. And I'm just going to write something funny. And I'm going to zoom out a bit here so you can see it. And I got an email, sorry about that. And I just sent the photo and it's already there on my uh, other device. Now I can click the photo, brings it right up. 
and it gives you options you can save to your gallery, which is really nice. You can also uh, zoom in and out. But it's great for sending media. I mean, once again, very fast, very reliable, have no issues uh, using this. Uh, hopefully in the future they may do voice and video chat. I asked them, they're not uh, <laughs> telling me any details, but they said they have a very ambitious program for this application. So hopefully we'll see that soon. Let's back out here for a moment and let's look at the actual app itself. So you have the conversations here. So I was talking to George. There we go. And you can see, you can change even the, the chat color. So I changed it to green here. That's an option. And send photos. You can see George actually never read these messages. You know, I sent it to him days ago. You can see the timestamp of when it was sent, which is always a nice feature. Over here, you have your contacts. Look how nice this is. It uses the uh, Metro Alphabet Picker. Really nice. You have your profile where you can set your photo. And go back to conversations. Go here to settings. You have tell a friend, your account settings. Change your email, your account status, or reset kick messenger. You have a help, about us and feedback, and then over here a chat. You can change your name, how it's displayed, which is always nice. You can uh, change your notifications. Once again, it's you know the push and new message vibration. You have privacy, so you can block people. Now, it's kind of interesting. People can add you as a contact, regardless of permission. So some people might, might not like that, but uh, you can at least always block people if they're bothering you. And under appearance, not too many options, but you can choose the color of your chat window, which is kind of a nice touch. And enter as send key. I mentioned that before. That's pretty much it. I really like this. I'm giving it to uh, as many people as I know. Like I said, it's on Android and iPhone, so it's really easy for them to get. It's completely free. I'm telling everybody on um, our staff here to get the application too because it's a great way to stay in contact. And it's very reliable. You're not using your text message, uh, you know, fees and everything like that. And so I gotta really recommend this app. Um, just give it a shot and see if you can uh, get a few people on it, and uh, you know, let me know how you uh, think of it. But I, I'm I'm sold on it. I really like the whole push notifications and everything. It just works well. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the tour. You can grab the app in the marketplace later on today.